Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another great fun time episode. Scar, as we continue to build this amazing underwater house where we're making it out of the new prismarine blocks. And in today's episode, we are going to build the floors, the rooms, the ceilings, and all sorts of other great stuff. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And it's always good to have you here for another build episode. And we are back in our underwater house and taking a look at some of our progress we made on our last episode. So, in our last episode, we built this amazing roof up here. So we got that all kind of designed and all looking pretty good. I'm still thinking about maybe making a few changes to this side where it kind of overlaps, but for the most part, it's fine for now. And yeah, so I did find out that these are, you know, glitches or they've been here forever with the waterfalls on the sides, which is really unfortunate. I really wish they would fix that so we could have, you know, some nice glass, you know, for the house. But unfortunately, this is just the way it is. Now, a subscriber did mention to try ice and I did try it and did the same thing, unfortunately. So that's a bit of a bummer. So we're just going to get started here and um, I'm going to start laying down the floor. Hey, yo. Oh, that guardian just came right at us. Um, so we're going to use sandstone. So in the first episode, I mentioned, uh, you know, what should we use for our, you know, floor materials and different things like that. And the overwhelming agreement was it seemed like sandstone was the way to go. Now I was thinking about, you know, some other materials, but Kind of our philosophy is we're going to try to use as many resources from the sea as possible in, of course, the underwater house, which makes sense. So I think that's a good way to go because, you know, sandstone's a thing that we can find under the sea. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm laying out the uh, entryway. So this is kind of the entryway that will lead all the way up into our living room. Now, the living room may look a little bland at the moment, but uh, but uh, it will look really awesome when we've completed it. We'll do some nice grand windows on either side here, and it'll be uh, open to the second story. So you'll be able to see all the way up. I think it's going to look pretty darn cool when we finish that up. So the question now is what I've originally planned was to do the house and build up the interior. So, you know, build up the house, get the, you know, all the details on and in the inside, you know, lay out the rooms and everything. But my question to you guys is, should we, let me just make sure I'm lining this up. Perfect. Um, should we decorate the house? So once we've, um, you know, today and, you know, the next episode, get all the rooms all settled and built. Um, you know, just their floors, their walls, and, you know, this is going to be this room, this is going to be that room. Should we furnish this house? So do, you know, an episode where we do a kitchen, we do a, you know, a, uh, you know, a bedroom or something along those lines. Or should we just, you know, finish up the house, you know, leave it unfurnished or not? So let me know, should we uh, furnish this house or not furnish it? Is uh, my question for you guys today is, um, you know, what we could do is, you know, finish up here, do the landscaping out front and then uh, call it good. Or we could, uh, you know, do all the interior stuff, you know, living rooms, bedrooms and all that good stuff, too. So letting me know that would be awesome. So, of course, like I've said before, our next house is the s'more house. So that will be our next house that we will build. And that one, I do have some pretty cool ideas for the interior that that one will definitely be furnished because I'm pretty excited for that. So yeah, I just want to know what your guys' thoughts on that are. Um, another question I had was, Scar, will the interior be flooded or will you get rid of the water? I'm looking towards probably getting rid of the water. If we try, if we do furnish the house, I will get rid of the water. If it is unfurnished, I probably will leave the water in because it's an underwater house. Because if we were to do a furnished house, the interior would need to have its water taken out so we could do our small details work in here because, you know, putting half slabs and different things like that will look pretty ugly with, you know, full water. Okay, so just kind of getting the walls kind of lined up here a little bit. I think this is a pretty good um, size for, you know, like a living room or a dining room or a kitchen of some kind over here. So I'm just trying to decide if this is a little tight. So that's a great size. I mean, that's plenty of room on there, but this is a little tight. So let's kind of kind of walk through here a little bit. Just get a kind of feel for it. It's a little tight. We'll think about it. Let's decide where our floor is going to go. I think it's going to go right here. That should line up perfectly. There we go. Perfect. So then I'm just going to get out this material. There we go. And just put a temporary block up here for now just temporary i wish don't you guys wish that the bottoms of these blocks were polished on the t as the tops are that would look really cool so this is just a placeholder block here just so i know that this is the floor for the second story so i know you know height wise and things 
There we go, got that sound. All right, and I'm just gonna carry that on to here. So grab a hold of that. Just wanna bring this all the way across so then we can start to you know, clean up these walls along here and get that all sorted out. So we'll get that going here. And yeah, so I hope everyone's doing well today and having a great summer so far. I've um, finally made a bit of plans this summer. We're going to uh, go up to Disneyland for a little bit at the end of summer in September to uh, kind of have a quick vacation up there. I think that'll be a fun kind of a time to kind of relax a little bit and uh, go on a little vacation. I'm looking forward to that. E3 was, you know, it was a, it was kind of a vacation, but it was also kind of, you know, like, you know, there was a lot of like work that was involved in, uh, in that. So it'll be nice to kind of go and kind of relax and have a, have a nice vacation for a little bit. So I did ask this in a live stream on Twitch is, would you guys like to see, you know, adventure with ska videos from Disneyland? You know, some, uh, you know, videos of, uh, kind of walking around and exploring around. Um, definitely let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. Let me just fill this in right here. I love making those videos that we made at E3. Those were super fun. Those were super fun. So I'm gonna put that. Hmm, I wanna cover up this, but I don't wanna take too much room away from our interior. So I think that's something that looks good, you know, staggering those blocks like that. I think that looks good, but I don't wanna take away any room that we might need for different pieces of furniture. So it's kind of like a temporary thing you know, putting it like that. But it adds a little detail on either side. There we go. All right, so coming along here, just cleaning this all up, getting all the detail laid out and pretty good. But uh, I think the house is uh, overall coming out pretty darn. Wait a second. Why can't they just make it go like that all the time? Look at that, look, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, man, I wish we could have that happen all the time. Then we'd have our clear glass underwater. And I keep clicking the wrong block. There we go. Put that all the way up. There we go. And then we'll just run this across here. Uh-oh, we're losing our vision. We're losing our vision. You know what I miss down here? And it's, it's, it's a funny thing to say, but I miss Bob the Creeper Building Inspector. You know, he always comes in here and lets us, uh, lets us know what we're doing wrong, and I kind of miss him a little bit. I kind of miss him a little bit. Poor old guy, he's probably just, you know, bored to death somewhere. You know, where's that scar making his buildings? Where is that scar? Um, hmm. So that's not gonna quite work right here. Hmm, so I'm trying to decide how I'm going to incorporate, you know, this uh, the rough material because I want it to be pretty much polished along here. Hmm, I'm not sure. If I'll incorporate, you know, this uh, the ceiling into the second story or not? Hmm, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Well, I'll just kind of clean it up a little bit to get the, you know, the small details in here. We'll do that small detail, of course, later. And I'll just fill that up there. But we're starting to get a little bit of an interior built here. It's starting to look pretty good. Get this all loaded up, ready to go. So my thoughts are, if um, you know, if we're going to furniture or not, I'm still going to designate each room as. You know, that's the living room. Maybe that's like a kitchen, dining room. Maybe an additional kind of family room type thing. Or that'd be more like family room, living room. Maybe do some staircases and some utility things on this side. And then the staircases possibly could come up, you know, over here. And then you could kind of, as you're coming up the staircase, look over the balcony and see down into the uh, living room. Yeah, that might be pretty cool. I love just coming up with random things for Minecraft. <laughs> oh, I love building in Minecraft. Man, it's pretty awesome that we keep getting new blocks because uh, it would be boring to use the same old blocks every, one, every time. So it's pretty cool we got all these cool new blocks to experiment with and build with. So let's think about maybe cutting this back a little bit. There should be quite a few extra blocks that we can remove here to uh, increase the uh, size of this area of the house. There we go. So it's just kind of trial and error to uh, kind of see what we can do, where we can push different blocks here or there. So something like that, you know, we can't do, but we can kind of push into here a little bit and open that up. There we go. So, you know, looking at this, you know, as this has, you know, the rough side right here, maybe we can kind of incorporate a bit of the rough stuff in the interior too. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad. There we go. All right, yeah, things are starting to look pretty good. Kind of cleaning this all up, getting this all fancy. Getting this all fancy. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Everything is starting to start to uh, 
look nice now. There we go. All right, that is starting to look good. So, give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath, and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So, I was just doing a little bit of work up here, you know, just kind of testing out different things, and what I've kind of decided is, this is a little bit tight, you know, as we uh, demonstrated before. So, what I'm gonna do is about maybe two or three more blocks forward, I'm going to um, do like a balcony. So, there'd be like a, you know, a little overhang here so we could look down and you could look up. So, it might give the perception that's a little bit bigger, a little more open, for there, and if we wanna maybe do something, like say take the uh, standard prismarine block here and kinda of open it up like that to something like that, you know, maybe knock down there like that too, and maybe go up here a little higher. There we go, something like that it might also look good too. So there are a few options for us if we choose a little bit later on to, why is that not working? There we go. For some reason, the little sample button wasn't working, but um, I think that's a good solution to, to uh, you know, just plan B in case we decide that that is a little bit too um, shallow. I think that looked pretty good. Okay, so this side I was trying to test it on. Do I like it, you know, flat? So, you know, everything's on the same uh, plane here. Everything's flat. Whereas on this side, you know, there's a little bit more like dimension here where those stick out a little bit more. But I don't know, just trying to see which one I like more. Okay, so we're going to bring this back a little bit more here. So we give these rooms a little bit more space. There we go. So not really going by any particular dimensions at the moment. Just kind of looking to see what feels right and uh, what feels good to see here. Sometimes that's all about it. You know, that's all about design sometimes. It's just getting into it, getting your hands dirty, and trying to uh, see what looks good. All right, so let's just continue our floor up here a little bit more. And then once we get this, I think, laid out a little bit more, then we'll be able to have a better judge for how we want to put things down at the bottom. But I like the I like the choices we've made so far with the sandstone. I think that will all look good. And this is almost like a series that I made a long or wanted to make a long time ago, which I never got to, was to make a house for every biome. So there would be a, you know, there would be a snow house, and there would be. Um, a plains house of some kind and a desert house and I man I wanted to do that series but I never got to it I think I was talking about that maybe at the end of 2012 and I just never got around to it other things came up and things of that nature so but this is almost like a, a rebirth of the series a little bit where we're uh, building this house using you know a lot of the resources from the seafloor and stuff like that there we go and voila perfect Okay, so at least we got that down. And then, of course, this section uh, will stay open. Let's actually knock this one down just a little bit here because this will be where our banister hangs down. Perfect, just the way we like it. So from this block, let's see here. One, two, three, four, nine. Hmm. I'm trying to decide where to go from here. So I was going to back this off just an extra block to give us just a little bit more room in this area. There we go. Okay, so then from here, so let's count that as one, two, three, four, five. And how are we looking here? Let's give it one more, two more. Try to decide what, what would be a good entrance here. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Well, then, you know, you would count that extra block there as six. So I think that's good. It doesn't need to be perfect by any means. It just kind of feel like how big the entrance should be. It doesn't have to be any particular dimension or any, you know, particular size. Whatever just looks right and whatever fits for what you want to build in there. There we go. There we go. So we can usually fit whatever we want in here. It depends on size and all, but I think this is plenty of room for utility staircase area. And then we could do the same on this side over here. So just fly over there. So get that down like so. And just run this across here. Get that on there. So it's just all trial and error. All trial and error trying to figure out the uh, what what looks good. It doesn't have to be like I always said, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, you know. 
if you're following along, you know, try to try to, you know, figure out what you want to build in these particular rooms. Maybe you want to do the interior as a slightly different uh, configuration or whatever. Um, I'd love to see it. You know, if you're following along a little bit on the exterior and kind of the basic shape of the house. And um, let's see, you go right here. Yes, you go right here. There you go. And uh, you have other ideas for the interior. You know, you want to decide you want to maybe make this um, not have this long stretch here. Maybe just a big staircase, you know, going up the center, which sounds pretty cool, actually. But um, if you are uh, doing that or whatever, yeah, let me know. Let me know. Let me see what you guys have uh, done with the design. I would love to see it. There we go. I know some people have uh, commented that they're building things with the new blocks, like castles and um, City of Atlantis and different things like that. So if you ever want to send me any of these pictures, send, you can send it to me on uh, Twitter or the uh, Facebooks. Why are you making those glitches up there? I don't like those at all. No, I don't. Get rid of those somehow. Cover them up with these, I guess. Might be just a, a glitch with the uh, current snapshot. So nothing to be worried about. There we go. Yeah, it's a little bit tight, but like I said, we can open this up a little bit too, so it won't be so tight. And, whoa, that's a weird glitch. Look at the water just, like, flashes at us. There we go. Okay. Get that down. Open that up a little bit. Yeah, I like that. I like, you know, it's not bad, really, because what's kind of cool about having a tight corridor and then it opens up into something big, it makes the, uh, you know, that room look even bigger. So when we're coming in here, you know, the walls are a little bit tight, but then we, it opens up into this grand room. So, you know, it's like a tight corridor into a nice grand room. So that's pretty cool. All right, so give me one second here. Let me do some finishing touches and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So I had a couple ideas for up here, but we're going to need to get rid of the water to actually complete them. So let's put these all the way across here. There we go. So what I thought we could do also is add some of these below or let's take those off and then create a few of them up here. Now you can see this water, now we'll fix that, but um, it just gives the perception of this pillar, you know, being, you know, cut in half, of course, and it just looks a little, little nice. I like the design, but we're gonna need to get rid of the water before we do that. That's why, you know, we gotta decide if we wanna furnish the house, then we'll get rid of the water. If we don't um, furnish the house, I'll probably leave the water in, but um, yeah, I think we got a really good start on this interior. You know, interiors take a long time to kinda fashion up and get the floors all laid out but I think we did a really good job in this episode so in our next episode we'll kind of uh, spruce up this a little bit I think I'm going to take out this to widen this just a little bit more and then up here then we can um, you know do those half slabs again like maybe up on the top here but we need to get more of the water for that and then um, maybe have the staircase come up over here and then of course our living room here we'll do the grand windows and the floors I think I'm going to drop them down one more so there would be like a little step right here to step down to the floor. So I think they'll, uh, I think that'll add an extra bit of depth and perception to this part. So it makes it look, you know, a little bit bigger and uh, helps with that tight corridor across there. But um, yeah, well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar. And I always appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll. See you later. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Linked in there, um, you're in my way again. You're in my way and you're giving me that look. You're giving me that look. Now I'm just going to have to push you off. <laughs> oh, that guy's hilarious. That face just... Oh, that face just... Oh, man, it's hilarious. All right. So, see this piece...